Season 10 is nearly here and the next community weekend is upon us. Get ready to fly the flag of community camaraderie and sharpen your shovels to dig for glory with the Sea of Thieves Season 9 Community Weekend. Taking place between September 30th and October 2nd, this community weekend will offer players the chance to increase the community emissary grade and boost gold, reputation, renown and allegiance over the course of the event. And for the first time ever, the community emissary grade will be influenced by how many hours of Sea of Thieves the community collectively watches on Twitch. So grab a tankard of your preferred tipple and spend some time with your favourite Sea of Thieves creator. Ha 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 ha! Gotcha! And in another first, we'll be offering the chance to uncover some high-value loot with pop-up plunder. Each time the emissary grade increases, and at surprise times throughout the entire community weekend, we'll spin a loot roulette and sneak terrific treasures into the ground at specific spots on every server. You'll need to stay tuned to our social channels for clues on where the precious plunder lies. But more importantly, you'll need to be quick, as not only will these dig spots only be active for one hour, but all crews on a server will be vying over the same spoils. Even if you don't partake in every pop-up plunder pursuit, make sure to keep an eye out for the clue released to Emissary Grade 5, as that one will point to a rather wondrous prize. And to sweeten the deal even further, we'll be running Twitch drops for everyone throughout the weekend. As more of you watch Sea of Thieves on Twitch, new items will be unlocked, including the Eastern Winds Ruby Boots and Gloves, and the Gilded Phoenix Eye of Reach and Cutlass. For more information on how to get ready for Twitch drops, visit seaofthieves.com forward slash twitch dash drops. And the team at Rare will be getting in on the Twitch action too, with a special stream, live from the tavern. Join us for witty banter and hours of piratical punnery. There may even be one or two clues about upcoming dig spots. And over on the Rare store, there's exclusive Community Weekend merchandise, with the Season 9 Community Weekend flag and t-shirt. We're also running a limited time 30% discount sale across many items. So have a browse and you might bag a bargain. And we're not stopping there. There are login bonuses for all players with the Season 9 Community Weekend flag and the Touch Grass emote. And a glorious picture wall will be available at every outpost so you and your crew can celebrate the weekend and snap some sweet selfies. So join us from September 30th as we celebrate you, the courageous Corsairs of the Sea of Thieves, with the Season 9 Community Weekend. Alright folks, welcome back to another video. As you just saw there, we have some positive news to discuss. Season 9 Community Weekend, running from the 30th of September till the 2nd of October, 10am UTC as always. But they didn't mention everything in that video, so we've got some more stuff to go over. First off, Style of Thieves and the Hat of Unfeasibly Glorious Fame make a return. If you don't know, starting off with Style of Thieves, that is a fashion competition that Sea of Thieves run, where you can earn the Fashionista's Finery Gloves if you win. There are four different themes across the weekend. The Hat of Unfeasibly Glorious Fame is rewarded to community MVPs, celebrating amazing players, artists, creators, etc. So if you think you or one of your crewmates deserves a particularly fetching hat, all you have to do is post something with hashtag be more pirate. Rare will be checking that hashtag all weekend and be rewarding particular players. They think their stories are amazing or they've done something particularly cool. Stuff like that. That is what the hat is rewarded for. Normally, they do four of these each month. They spotlight four different community members on the website for a month. But during Community Weekend, they go into overdrive, giving hats left, right and centre. The next thing is to celebrate Talk Like a Pirate Day. There are some brand new sales over in the Pirate Emporium. 
They are the Pretty Poly sales and they will be available until Wednesday the 27th of September 2023 of course 11 a.m. BST or 10 a.m. UTC. That's not this Wednesday, that's next Wednesday. So if you want to snag those sales you've got until then, the Pirate Emporium is also hosting a Talk Like a Pirate Day sale until that same Wednesday. Going back to Community Weekend, as you know, the way we progress the Community Emissary Grade is by watching the Sea of Thieves category on Twitch. And Sea of Thieves are doing something particularly special if we get the Sea of Thieves category into the top 10 categories on Twitch. Even if it briefly makes an appearance there just once, if it flickers there, the Sea of Thieves Obsidian Ship's Crest will be made available as a Twitch drop. We don't have any photos of this, but there are a couple instances in game which look remarkably similar to what an Obsidian Ship's Crest might look like. As I'm sure most of you will be aware, the Obsidian set is one of the rarest sets in the game game, so you'll definitely want to snag the drop if we get the Sea of Thieves category there. They also go on to say that the ship's crest will not be making a return for the foreseeable future, so it might not come back for a while, so for now, this is your only chance to get it. The final thing I want to mention about Community Weekend is the pop-up plunder event, where loot is going to be appearing across the map throughout the weekend. Just so you know, Every time pop-up plunder becomes available, players will receive a notification in-game that fresh loot is live and that a clue regarding the whereabouts of the High Value Hall has been released somewhere on the Sea of Thieves' official social media channels. Additionally, once the pop-up plunder has been dug up, a cheeky little map marker will appear for everyone else on the same server, just so they know the precious prize hasn't been handed in yet and they can still steal it. And then before we move on to Season 10, there's this really funny graphic Sea of Thieves put on the article when they were talking about how there's going to be boosted renown and gold and allegiance and reputation and all that. I just think it's pretty funny. It's a variation on the stonks meme. It's, it's all it is. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of you have been waiting for this bit. Season 10. I never thought we'd see the day, yet we have some actual concrete news. I'm sorry to say you'll have to wait a little bit longer, but they have said join us this Thursday, September 21st at 3pm UTC for a preview of the Sea of Thieves Season 10 headline features. Happy talk like a pirate day and then a link to the preview. I find this quite interesting. Because we're due the third Legend of Monkey Island tale, and it's pretty safe to assume by now that that won't be coming this Thursday, but the Thursday after, which again, it's right at the end of the month, just like the second Monkey Island tale. I would have actually thought that they would push for the third Monkey Island tale to be released this Thursday, wrap all that stuff up, then move on to season 10, maybe preview it a week on Thursday, and then it's quite cohesive, quite clear, right, we've moved on from Monkey Island, and now we've got Season 10. Interesting decision, as I say, I would have probably flipped it so we can have Season 10 preview, and then we kind of get Season 10 pretty immediately. But anyway, I'm excited nonetheless to see Season 10's features. But that does just about wrap everything up. Not a huge wrap, but equally, it's more than we've been getting for a while. Season 10 has a lot riding on it. A huge amount riding on it. More than I think any update ever has. So anyway, we'll wait until Thursday to see what they say. Let me know what you think of all this down in the comments below. Are you excited for Season 9 Community Weekend? And what do you want to see come in Season 10? Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy them, please do consider leaving a like. It really helps out the channel an absolute ton. And subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest Sea of Thieves news as and when it comes out. And while you're at it, why not hit the bell as well so you never miss a single upload. But anyways, apart from all that, thanks for watching and I'll see you later.